Happy day all, this is Mahesh Kumar working as an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at B.V. Raju Institute of Technology, Narsapur. I am dealing with Python programming. In this session, we will be discussing about private, protected and public members in Python programming. So, in C programming, whenever you want to protect the data, we will be using a keywords called public, private and protected. So when you define any functions or variables with these particular keywords, the data will be protected. So we call them as access specifier in C programming. But in Python programming, how we can define variables as public, private and protected members? We don't have the same concept like C like where we used keywords in C programming. In Python, we can define members and methods as public, private and protected, but the concept is different. So what is that particular concept we will be discussing in this particular session. So first we will talk about public method, public members. So whatever you define in Python programming, all will be by default called as public members. The public members, whatever we define in Python program, can be accessed outside the class environment. So for example, if you see a class employee where I'm going to define a member called company, right? So I will use a constructor for that. I will read two parameters from the constructor, name and number of employee, and those will be initialized, right? So once you initialize the name and number for the employee, I can access them outside the class environment because all the members, whatever you define here, like company, name, and number, all these members will be public members by default in Python program. So all the public members can be accessed outside the class environment by making use of object of the class. Now, when I want to specify private members in Python program, what we need to do is we don't have access specifiers like keywords, public, private, protected, like in C program. So in Python program, whenever we want to define any private member, we have to make a convention of using underscore symbol. So whenever we use double underscore before the name of the member, then that member will be treated as private member. When you define any member as a private member, the Python program says that we should not touch it outside the class. That means we cannot access that particular private member data outside the class environment. So whenever we try to access the value of private member outside the class, then the Python returns attribute error. Attribute error. So if you see this particular sample code, the age and name have been defined as private members. So before the name of the variable, when I specify double underscore, this will be treated as private members in Python program. Now, whenever we, when, whenever we want to define protected members in Python program, we have to make use of convention of using a single underscore before the name of the variable, right? And these protected members can only be accessible inside the class and it can be accessible in a class where the class will acquire the properties of the class where the variable have been defined. That means a protected members can be accessed within the class as well as in the subclasses, in the subclasses. So this allows the child class to inherit particular resources from the parent class. So we have to make use of single underscore to define the private member in protected member in Python program. We can see here in this example, name and age have been defined with a single underscore before the name of the variable. So these will be treated as protected members in Python program. Now let us write a simple code for making understanding how to declare public, private and protected members in Python. 
I will just quote, I will define a class called employee. Employee. And I'll be defining a member company. Company. I'm going to use a constructor inside the class. So where I will define two parameters, e name and e number. So we need, I will initialize these values. All right, self dot e number equal to e number. So after defining the constructor, now what I'm going to do is, I will create object for the class called employee, emp is equal to employee and I will pass the parameters I will pass the parameters for this right after creating the object now as per we discussed there are three members in this particular class e name e number and company all these three members are by default public that means we can access them outside the class by making use of the object of a class so what i will do i will access the members of the class like this emp dot com emp dot ene and emp dot e number so all the members of the class which are by default public can be accessed outside the class in this way so when i run this particular code we will be able to access all the members of the class as they have been defined as public members now whenever i declare any member as private private member suppose if i define this as private member so use double underscore here so whenever you define any variable with as a private member that cannot be accessed outside the class now if i try to access this statement if i try to access this value so whenever you have to remember that whenever you de de define this particular variable in this way you need to access in the same way now when i run this particular code it will say it will raise an exception see attribute error so employee object has no attribute e number so we cannot access this private member outside the class in the same way if i declare a protected member underscore right if you declare this member as a protected member with a single underscore now if you try to access this also you will not be able to access it outside the class you can see here we are able to access it so we said that protected member can be accessed by the class object and the subclass of this particular class so this is how we will declare public private and protected member of a class now the last point that you remember is whenever you have a private member we said that it cannot be accessed outside the class outside the class but even though the member is defined private we can access outside the class by using a concept called as data mangling so what, what do you mean by mangling is we write the name of the object of a class followed by dot operator and specify the name of the class by using a single underscore underscore the name of the class is employee and write the variable name double underscore e number so how you are able to access how you are able to access a private member outside the classes you have to write the name of the object followed by dot operator use a single underscore write the name of the class and after that write how did you declare the private member double underscore followed by e 
number. So once you run this particular code, you will be able to access the value of private member. So this is how we will make use of public, private and protected members in Python program. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.